Hey folks, it's Monday morning and unfortunately we've woken up to some really sad news today that over the weekend our child's preschool, or as they say in Swedish, forskola, was broken into and these horrible little thieves stole bikes. They stole an electric bike, a very expensive cargo one and a couple of normal regular bikes as well. They found one of them not far from the site with a puncture but the other bikes are gone. I just think it's so sad that there are people in life that would stoop so low as to break into a preschool. Now the preschools here in Sweden are not like the preschools in, that I know of in the UK with high gates and security and everything. They're very much open, you know, you can walk into the back yards of most of these when they're closed, um, you know, on the basis that they just trust people to be decent in society. But sadly, there will always be scrotes like these people that broke into the preschool over the weekend and stole these bikes. But this highlights a big gap in Swedish society here. Love it or hate it, CCTV protects you. It protects me, it protects our property. And all over the UK, you've got CCTV in city centers, around properties and everywhere on the basis that when bikes are stolen, you know, you might have CCTV on the site capturing these people taking it wearing balaclavas perhaps or, or disguises. But the reality is that once they leave the premise and they're on the, you know, on the run, they dump those disguises and then they're captured on CCTV further down the line. So even if they're not captured at the scene, you know, you can identify them later on via CCTV and that's quite a successful tactic. In Sweden, however, CCTV in public is not allowed. So you very rarely see security cameras on any buildings um, or any corporate retail premise or a school. And you're not even allowed CCTV in a private residence facing public right of way. So you can have cameras in your house, which might accidentally capture the outside, but you're not allowed CCTV cameras that are focusing on a public area. So for example, outside looking out of your door uh, because it will capture somebody and invade their privacy. Now people often moan about Sweden being a nanny state and I defend that view. I don't think that is the case except for this point. I think, you know, I really think that for the protection of people, the public, you know, if I went out on a Saturday night and I'm beaten up in a, in a high street in the UK, I know that it's been captured on CCTV and I know that people are watching that CCTV live and they're already dispatching people, police, security, to go and apprehend the people that have just beaten me up. Whereas in Sweden, I've got no peace of mind there because I'm fairly sure that the cities here don't have CCTV. In fact, even the police have to apply for a permit to use CCTV. And that regulation, that law was only passed in the last 12 or 24 months, I believe. It's just shocking that, that the most basic of security measures in a society where I think most Swedish people would endorse the idea, it's not allowed. And so in the scenario here where our preschool has been broken into, property stolen, they've got nothing. They don't know who did it, they don't know what time it was done, and they'll probably never catch them. And where I live here, there's a massive spate of bicycle thefts. They're being stolen all the time. In the UK, you never see a bicycle locked, uh, uh, never see a bicycle not locked up. In Sweden, people just leave their bikes around because there historically wasn't a lot of crime. But unfortunately, crime has increased massively in the last few years because of certain things. Um, and it, it's really sad to see that there's just no protection against it. But I'm hoping that that will change. I really hope that Sweden soon starts to embrace CCTV. You know, they've allowed the police to implement CCTV now. So hopefully they'll allow the regular homeowner to protect their own home and their property by implementing it as well. But very sad news to see this. And it's unfortunately the way that Sweden is going. Crime levels are rising here and it's very, very depressing. Anyway, comment below, have you been the victim of crime in Sweden? If so, let me know. Unfortunately, sad to hear if you have, but interesting to hear the scenario. What do you think about CCTV as well? Uh, give this video a thumbs up, hit the share button as well and share it because these kind of videos prompt real discussion in the groups that you're in of, of expats and immigrants who are leaving, living in Sweden. And if you do enjoy this content, hit the subscribe button below. We're not far from a thousand subscribers and I'd love to get to that milestone. So help me by sharing this video and asking your friends who are also living here to subscribe. Thanks guys.